pan. I'm going to set it in my electrolysis tank again um, because I got an old wrench whenever I'm done with it. That's near that. And it, uh, you can see it's pretty, pretty rusty to the point it won't even move. So I'm going to give it a try and see what we get done out of this. I think it'll work. And first off, I'll put these things in here. I cleaned up the edges of the grinder a little so we get contact. Put them in here, a little something like this. Gotta have a clamp to hold them. Like this here. And one over here. I uh, keep these straight across from each other so that elect electrons or whatever will go both uh, ways. And we're gonna put our jumper. Ain't really nothing to this. Very simple. Yeah, yoke is on here. Hope you get a contact. And over here. And let's see, we gotta have this little gizmo in the middle. Bolt. Or anything, it don't matter what it is. Metal, not. They say you don't wanna use uh, well, up here it don't really matter because there's not gonna be anything going out. Then uh, this stuff kinda caked up. We'll put some of this in. I don't know. One time I put way too much and uh, wound up with a little problem, but well, let's start off with this much and see what happens. Uh, get the activity. I'll just use this to stir it with since it's not turned on anyway yet. That might be good enough, I don't know. Okay. Now, find this piece of wire, which is work for this. Now, I don't know if that's gonna, uh, hang on, let me see, I'm gonna use a wire brush on this just a little. gonna use a wire brush but it wouldn't come on for whatever reason but I need to get a little this is where I get a contact with this wire I don't want it to you know if it's just rusty it probably gonna make contact so then we we'll put this in here a little something like this down in the wood inside of these so we get the whole thing in there but we don't want it to contact either one of these now we get this and uh, we're going to put the see, put the hot one to here, I think it is, and then the ground to this one. And uh, yeah, our charger's coming up a little bit, but uh, I don't see. Yeah, there is some activity happening down there. Not sure we got a good ground on it. Good contact. Yeah, we're getting some activity, so. I guess it's going to work. I mean, obviously it'll work. It's got everything fixed up right, you know. So that's uh, that's the way it's going to be. So anyway, we let this go and see what happens in a few hours or even a day. Maybe but it's it's getting pretty active down in here. Hang on a minute, I'll show you. <laughs> See that activity or not down there? Yeah, you can see it's moving around and everything. Don't see a lot on that other one, but that's uh, it's getting ready to take the rust off of it. All right, we'll see what happens, and we'll be back in a while. Got right here. See what kind of deal we got here on this uh, electrolysis stuff. Let's see. Yeah, we ain't got no sparks on there now. Take all this loose. And take this concoction loose. Yeah, there. Put this up here. And let's see here. Uh, I uh, besides the wrench was working with yesterday. I found an old hammerhead that I wanted to 
clean up. Of course, it was down in there, and that's all right. It's all right. Nothing. Not too dangerous. Now, let's see here. Get this wire off of here. Yeah, what a deal. What a deal. There we go. Now then, of course, this looks pretty, looks pretty strusty at the moment. And uh, everything, but we may have to do this thing again to get it really good because it was a mess. It really was. And uh, so I'll take it over to the bar brush here in a little bit and uh, see what we got. But uh, I'm thinking it'll be all right. Yeah, I'll get it cleaned up here. Yeah, I knew it was a rigid, it was a name of it, name brand. Okay, and I'll take that over here on the wire brush in just a minute. Get some of the rest of that stuff off. Let's get down and get that <clears throat> hammerhead out of there. Yeah, that's, it's, uh, it's probably going to be cleaner than the wrench was. It wasn't nearly as bad as far as rust is concerned as the, uh, the wrench. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to put a handling this old dude and everything. I ground off part of this yesterday. So one thing so we get a good ground. But yeah, time we get done with polishing this up on the wire brush and on that uh, with that wrench too, well it's gonna look pretty good. I ain't gonna bore you with trying to move the camera and everything while I clean them up. I'll come back in a little bit and see what they look like. Yeah, this wrench looks a lot better than it did, but uh, it was completely stuck before you couldn't move it at all, and now you can, but there's rust in here that I don't think got uh, completely took care of, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it another bath here in this stuff and see if I can clean that out a little bit better. I think I'm just going to go ahead and take this off here and uh, take this here and... Uh, I don't know if it's going to get a contact on it or not. It might. Go ahead and put this little ring back in here. And uh, attach this in here somehow or the other. Probably ought to go ahead and make a loop around here. A little bit to where it might make better contact. And then hook this in here. And all the... I'll put this back in here like this here, like we did before. Is that down in there? And see if we can get a little better skull on that deal. If I can figure out what I done with my jumper wire, take a look up here. It's that getting dark here? You wouldn't believe it. But, uh, yeah, little, here it is. Here it is. All's not lost here. All. All right, now then, let's see. This thing can go here. This will go over here. And we put our, uh, this thing here goes on the, this one. And we'll hook this on to here. See what we got. Yeah, the old charger's up a little bit. And there's activity on that. Sure enough, there is. So that's going to, clean it up. And this old hammerhead, I don't know if I showed you that or not, but it worked out really good. It hadn't been there very long, but it's a, and it was pretty brutal to begin with. But anyway, uh, I'm going to put a handle on that. I got a handle here for it. I got to trim it down a little bit. These old hammers are just pretty handy. All right. That should probably be it for that. I don't think we need to show any more of this because we know it's cleaning it up and it's all pretty good. The only thing is, uh, I don't worry about none of that other part of it. Uh, it's pretty good. It's up here. It's, uh, it's pretty good. Uh, tell you what though, that wire brush wheel I got on there, that's on one of the eBay uh, grinders. And that is the biggest piece of junk. As a matter of fact, I told a guy about it. Because he was sorry I was having a problem. He said, just keep the grinder. I'll send you a set of tools for your trouble. Which that was good. The tools are of course not very expensive ones, but I still got, I got a lot of tools anyhow, but so, but anyway, he gave me a set of tools, he was a pretty nice guy, I gave him positive feedback, because, because of that, he, I didn't figure he did anything about it, but he did, he did real good, I don't remember his, uh, I don't remember his, uh, user ID or whatever it was on there, 
well enough of that so now I'm gonna have to get busy and start working on a few walnuts otherwise got our gourds over here I don't know if you can see them where you're at or not but uh, always a little something going on around here okay that'll be it for now <laughs> 